I'm going to make uh, a quick drawing of a painting by Gerard van Honthorst, 17th century painter. I'm starting with the eye, as you see here. Um, lines and accentuations um, to define uh, this area. And Gerard van Honthorst was a very interesting painter. Yeah, when he was young and later in life he made really boring portraits in the Netherlands. I say the Netherlands because in his early life he was in Italy situated. But uh, anyway, now that I've made a drawing of the eye, I am going further to the other eye, part of the nose. And I'm measuring a little bit where should I put it. So I, I corrected myself, uh, as you can see, with the outline. Now the nose. So usually I start with the eye on the right, then I go to the other eye, then the nose. And gradually the whole face gets uh, treated. And here I'm slowly adding uh, tonal values a little bit on the cheek. There are little uh, accent accentuation for the corner of the mouth, so I know where to start. And um, I accentuate the lines between the teeth and the lip. Um, it's very important not to make one straight line, but to put some accentuations um, carefully. So. Otherwise you get this very crude division and very ugly lines. You do not really see me draw straight lines or, you know, lines that... It, they, they are all a um, series of accentuations and that works better to, the, to define a certain area or a certain outline. And here I am returning to certain details to create more uh, definition. Here a little tonal value on the cheek on the left to get some light and dark uh, differences. Sometimes I'm not aware I am actually drawing out of the out of the video screen. So I try to be attentive more to that in, in my next videos, but Anyway, I'm drawing a little bit of the darkness uh, on the left of her face. <laughs> and I, I, I put extra accentuations in, in the eye. And here the tonal values above the eye a little bit. So on the one hand I accentuate details, on the other hand I add tonal values for, you know, the impression of the face as a whole. Here the corner of the mouth, also very important to get a certain um, expression on her face. Some more tonal value, with some, some loose hatchings. Um, I think that you can call this cross hatching or something, but I'm not very disciplined in hatching. I'm, I think I'm, I'm cross hatching more out of a lack of discipline <laughs> than something else. But I don't like to put hatchings all in one direction. I, I like to put them all in different directions. So there's a liveliness and a sort of energy in the drawing. And that kind of energy I want to keep in, in, in the whole of the drawing. So I, I deliberately change direction of, of hatchings. Here's some more tonal value. And I, I go from one detail to the other. Here and there I, I add some definition or I add the tonal value.
here the chin sometimes when you draw a face you concentrate quite a lot on uh, the eye and, and, and the mouth the eyes and the mouth and the nose when the, the chin or other areas can come sometimes as a sort of afterthought perhaps and here it is